What's going on everybody? I made a little modification to my Bugera 333XL. It didn't come with a foot switch and I really only wanted to use the clean and the crunch channel anyway, have the effects loop on all the time. So I made a little modification inside so I could use it with a G major with the switching latch and I'm just going to show you a little bit of what I did here. So you can see here are my two quarter inch jacks. Um, I could have used a stereo jack, I just didn't have any. So I used two mono guitar jacks. Wired up with some Cat5 here. And I just routed it through the foot switch hole, which I'm not using because I don't actually have this foot switch. Now this digital board does all the switching when you have the factory foot switch, uh, but I don't. And initially I thought maybe I can just jumper some pins on this foot switch jack that's in there, uh, that didn't quite work out. But what I saw is that I traced this big ribbon cable to the front panel board, and there are these momentary switches on the front panel. You can see the clean channels lit up green right now. Uh, also, kids, don't hold a phone over a, a amp that's on with, with the cover off. But anyway, um, there's the crunch channel switch on the top right there. That's the one you can see. There's the clean that's engaged right now. And I wired up this Cat5 to the bottom of that ribbon cable. I just traced out where the clean switch goes on that pin out. And I traced out where the ground was. And I traced out where the crunch switch goes. Because these switches, you know, they, you're just, the front panel switch is just short to ground to change the channels. I don't even know if I'm using that term right. I'm pretty sure that's what it is. They short to ground. So now I've got my stereo Y cable. Here is my crunch channel. I used blue because the crunch channel on the 5153 is blue. And I used green for the clean because that's clean on the 5153. That just helped me remember it when I was wiring it up. And now if I just short these so now I'm on the clean channel, All right? So if I do this, you could hear the click. And now if you look, that's not lit. That is lit. Crunch channel light is on. And if I short the tip of this to ground, you heard it click. Bam, now I'm on the green channel again. Um, let me post what this is, looks like with the G major patches. Okay guys, so I have a clean preset dialed up. You can see the green channels lit. And there's the preset I'm on, preset number 10. Now watch, uh, I'm gonna change presets here to number nine. And then boom, look, changes to the crunch channel. All right, it's working.